We have not often had good news during this pandemic, but we do have at least a little bit of limited good news today. New York City recorded no new coronavirus deaths in a 24-hour period for the first time in nearly four months on Saturday, according to preliminary data released by health officials. The agency in charge said that there were no confirmed deaths the day prior, but noted two fatalities were probable cases. So they're still looking into that. It could change in the future, but basically we had at least one day where apparently there were no deaths from the pandemic, which we haven't had for literally months at this point, um, and possibly other days as well. So, yay, good news. I mean, yeah, I just think of the poor health workers, you know, and the trauma that they must be going through. I mean, the amount of death that they've seen is completely unprecedented. Like, that's not normal for a healthcare worker. And yes, I mean, it's great. I think it's good for New York City. I am very scared that there's going to be yet another spike there. And I am curious as to know, like, if Cuomo really has a plan for doing some of those other things beyond the, like, people just staying at home. Yeah. Um, it's hard, you know, and, and I think we see reopening and people wanting to go outside and gather because it's it's frustrating. You know, yeah. um, anyway, do you but think, yes. do you think, cause I, I fear the same thing. Like the idea is, okay, you get it under control in one region. If it blows up in another, they could potentially travel. That that's still certainly a possibility. We haven't really seen it yet. It seems like the South is like half of all of the cases in the country. But do you think like my, my fear is Texas won't shut down again or Florida won't shut down again. Do you think New York would shut down again? I, I don't know. I mean, you saw Cuomo initially be super reticent about shutting down, yeah. right? He was he was talking about, well, this is the financial capital and Wall Street and this and that. And then I think he once he saw he could score political points because Trump was being so inept, I think he got smart about it, obviously, and the cases were rising. But I'm just again, it's hard to separate the politics in this moment from like the pragmatism and, and truly where we need to go and what healthcare officials are, are uh, I mean, and health es experts are saying yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just just to reiterate again, like we we so rarely, especially in 2020, get any good news. They were at, at the peak in April in New York alone. There were 800 people dying each day. That is like I know that we're just supposed to all ignore it and pretend that all this didn't happen. But one city, 800 people. Imagine that on one day, one time. But it yeah. was day after day after day. It took an incredible amount of work. Um, huge errors like Cuomo did some good things don't let that make you forget that he also made terrible decisions as well um, but also on the part of regular New Yorkers to actually abide by this not everybody did but they were much better about it than we're currently seeing in some parts of the country and so they deserve credit for that right and and it's also unfair though because I mean you have this is an international city and there mm -hmm. of course there's people from Florida who go back and forth to New York so I mean if I were new, in New York now and I'm sure a lot of people watching are it's a scary time because you're like, well, I've done all this work. We really got it under control. And how are we going to maintain these gains? Yeah. Yeah, 100 percent. And hopefully we can. It, the, the issue is that this is like we're not different countries. We're just states. You can drive yeah. up the highway to New York from, you know, one of the regions that are uh, really badly hit. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.